This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, a very warm welcome to this uh, Microsoft SCCM um, online uh, training session. Um, previously, we used to call it as SCCM, but the new name is MECM. Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. The first name was SMS, right? System Management Server. Uh, that was the first name. And then Microsoft changed the name to SSEM, uh, this one, a System Center Configuration Manager. And now the new name is MECM, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Okay, so before we uh, start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Kashif. I have uh, somewhere around uh, 13 years of practical IT experience. I have trained uh, more than 16,000 students globally. Um, I have expertise on SACM, Intune, Active Directory, Application Packaging, Azure, PowerShell. I am a BSc IT graduate. I did my graduation from uh, Mumbai University and later on I started working as a system administrator wherein I worked in uh, SCCM level 1, level 2, level 3 team. I also worked on application packaging uh, team as well and uh, then uh, now I am working as SCCM architect. My primary roles and responsibility is to uh, implement SCCM in companies. Um, Apart from the implementation and project work, I am involved in uh, SCCM training and other technologies training like SCCM Intune uh, application packaging, wherein I have trained uh, more than 16,000 students globally. So that is my, you know, uh, involvement. I do classroom training, online training, and corporate training. And uh, apart from that, I am involved in this uh, implementation project. So that is about me, guys. Here is my um, website and uh, uh, email address. Let me take you to the next slide, which talks about the duration of this training. So this training will start every day uh, monday to friday uh, 6 30 a.m uh, india time ist okay 6 30 to maximum you know we do one and a half hour session uh, so it will go up to eight o'clock okay or 7.45, let's keep it 7.45. 7.45 maximum AM IST. So one hour, 15 minutes, okay? One hour, 15 minutes, uh, we will do session on daily basis. Uh, some days we might go up to one hour, uh, 30 minutes, okay? One hour, 30 minutes. So it will take, uh, four weeks to finish all the topics okay four weeks 28 days monday to friday uh, we will do the session uh, this time uh, 6 30 is what 1 a.m uk time petras uh, 1 a.m uk time yeah it's okay thank you yeah that's a little difficult for you but uh, uh, I think you can manage okay 1 a.m. in the midnight so that's the time for UK guys okay and this is India uh, India uh, time zone 6 30 morning so that will take a total four weeks a total for 35 hours of session okay within one month we will be able to finish it off now Let's talk about the SCCM historical details. SCCM started as SMS, System Management Server. That was started in 1994. 
in the year 1994 then sms 2.0 then sms 2003 then microsoft changed the name from sms to SACM system center configuration manager so this was the old name of uh, SACM you know initial name SMS system management server then Microsoft changed the name to uh, SACM system center configuration manager and uh, in the year 2007 they released SACM 2007 then SACM 2012 then SSM 1511. So now they are going with year and month. So this is year 2015 and this is month November. Now what they are doing is they are releasing SSM three times a year. So in the year 2016, they have released 1602, 1606, 1610. In the year 2017, they released these three versions 1702 1706 1710 similarly in the year 2018 they released these three versions and then in the year 2019 they released these three versions but you see the difference here they change the name again from 2019 onwards october 2019 they change the name from SCCM to mecm that is microsoft endpoint configuration manager and this happened in the year 2019 and then last year they released these two versions 2002 2006 also 20 mecm 2010 in the month of october last year 20 is what 2020 and 10 is october this is the latest and greatest version of SACM. So it started from where? It started from 1994, right? And now the latest and greatest version is 2010. So almost like 25 years, this product is there in the market. Okay. It has been in the market for the past 25 years and you will see that this SACM is deployed in almost all medium size companies and big size companies okay almost all medium plus big size companies you will find SACM okay so uh, thousands and thousands of companies have implemented this and millions of devices are being managed by this product okay so this is a matured product it did not come in the market you know like recently it is a matured product and it is the third largest selling product of microsoft so first is windows microsoft is selling what windows operating system then microsoft is selling microsoft office and then this one SACM, which we, now we call it as MECM. So this is the third largest selling product of Microsoft. So almost all big size companies and medium size companies have SACM. You may not find SACM in small size companies, but big size companies and medium size companies will have uh, almost everywhere you will find it. Now let's talk about the certification of this um uh, this program um microsoft used to have this 70-703 but this is expired already okay we don't have uh, any specific exam for sccm at the moment okay this is expired uh, 2019 uh, december this expired so previously we used to take this exam and become sccm certified but now we don't have any specific certification for SACM. Okay. Now let's talk about the opportunities in SACM. Now, since you you guys are going to learn this technology, so you should also know what is the current market value of this product and what will be the future of this product, right? So SACM is as I mentioned earlier that it is a matured product 
for the past 25 years right this product is there in the market plus almost all medium size companies and big size companies are there uh, are using this product right so millions of devices are being uh, managed by this product so people are looking for sscm administrator right if sscm is deployment deployed all over the globe right so they also need sscm administrator to work on this product so people who are working on sscm profile can uh, <clears throat> can get average salary 45 us dollar per hour okay this is not uh, the fixed one this is an average salary uh, people are getting in us canada uk australia um, you know in european countries um, sccm has 43 percent of market share uh, that means sccm also has some competitors sccm competitors are ibm big fix then you have land desk then you have tanium right then you have altris then you have workspace okay these are some of the competitors of sscm but sscm is way ahead from these uh, competitors you know with 43 percent of market share 43 percent means it's a big number right uh, people are still going from these product to uh, sscm some you know some companies they have these products but a uh, few of them are also moving to sccm because sccm has great features you know many functionalities which these these uh, competitors do not have so it is it is an evergreen product guys in terms of opportunities you will um, get n number of opportunities the only thing is you have to uh, learn this technologies properly and after learning this if you uh, prepare yourself for interviews you, and start uh, uh, you know working on this uh, profile then you have a good good career in this uh, sscm profile um, you can get sscm related opportunities in uh, the local job uh, you know job portals like indeed dice then nokri monster uh, these are some of the job portals wherein you can upload your resume and start uh, looking for sscm opportunities not now after this uh, course is over you know after the training okay any question so far from anyone um, petra is clear yes yes thank you thanks yes sir okay yes. so let's move on to the next one okay guys this is not uh, um, this is just a demo session wherein i am gonna give you overview of the training how the training is gonna be conducted uh, you know in today's session uh, i am gonna let you know what all things will be uh, covered in this session so i'm not going into details now okay so i'll just give you overview what is site in sccm uh, there are three sites in sccm central primary and secondary we will discuss in details from tomorrow um, in the actual training since it's a, just a demo session so i'm not going into details so there are three sites central primary and secondary and uh, I'm going to show you the architecture of this SSCM. Yeah, this this is the in this slide we have three architectural diagram. One, the first one is for small size companies. Okay, this is for a small size company. 
wherein you just need one primary site, single primary site to manage all the devices. SSEM is what? SSEM is basically enterprise device management solution. You will have complete control on your devices, on Windows uh, computers, on Mac computers as well. You can manage <clears throat> your computers like laptops, desktops, servers. You can deploy applications, you can deploy patches, you can uh, deploy operating system. So using SACM, you can do all those things. So this is for a small size companies. You will have one single standalone primary site. Second one is when you have a medium size company. Okay. So you will have a primary plus secondary. So primary is in the headquarter and secondary site is in the branch office. Okay, so if you have a primary, I mean, if you have branch offices, then you need secondary site. So this kind of architecture, 99% you will find this kind of architecture. Wherever you go, you will find this kind of architecture. Okay, uh, primary plus secondary, because you will have headquarter plus branch office, headquarter and branch office. Um, this is for medium size company. Okay. The third one is for a big size organization like IBM, Accenture, Deloitte, you know, wherein you have more than one primary site. So if you got more than one primary site, for example, primary one in Americas, primary two in Europe, and primary three in Asia, all these primary sites will report to a central administration site, site on the top. So primary will report to central. Okay, this is for big size organization. Okay, so primary uh, will report to central. So we will have a central administration site on the top. Then you have primary site, and then you have secondary site. Okay, so this very rare uh, deployment, but this is also present in big size organization. But very rare 99 percent this this one and this is also very rare because companies will have headquarter and branch office if you don't have branch office you go with single primary site standalone primary site without any secondary site okay clear wait so one more architecture wherein you have two primary site one primary site here another primary site here and primary will report to central and these secondary site will report to this primary these secondary site will report to this primary okay now every site has a database whether you have primary or central or secondary so Send the database is present for each site. So secondary will send the data to primary and data uh, Whatever the data secondary collects it will pass on to primary database and the primary will pass on to Central administration site database like from downward to upward. That is how the the data flow happens then we have site roles. We will discuss about these site roles uh, later on. Uh, I mean, uh, to, from tomorrow onwards, when we uh, touch these topics, we'll discuss these in details. Now we have uh, these features and functionalities. SACM is what? SACM is a enterprise device management. So for example, you have like a few machines in Mumbai. Okay. Let's say you have 2000 computers in Mumbai. Then you have 5000 machines in London, right? Then like 4,000 machines in uh, Chennai. Okay. 
so from SACM what you can do for example your headquarter is in New York okay so what will you do you will install a primary site in headquarter generally we install primary site in headquarter but it is not mandatory to install it in headquarter you can install it uh, in other location as well now from primary site you can remotely manage you know uh, basically SACM is what instead of primary site let me just type in SACM okay so from SACM you can manage these devices like you can deploy what application you can deploy updates right you can deploy policies you can deploy operating system right you can uh, gather inventory you know for all the devices you can get the inventory data like hardware information software information SCCM will get those information right so there are many things which we can do so in this slide I'm gonna talk about the features and functionalities So these are some of the features and functionalities of SACM like from SACM you can do asset management so asset management has like hardware software inventory asset intelligence software metering you can do client management like application deployment software up update deployment operating system deployment you can manage these contents you can find out how many computers are compliant how many computers are non-compliant you can deploy power policy to your devices you can find out the healthiness uh, health uh, whether the client are healthy or unhealthy you can get a dashboard of that one you can get uh, um, you can manage endpoint uh, protection antivirus in the computers you can manage mobile devices like android iphone ios devices um, role-based administration if SCCM, if uh, you are good with application deployment, I can give you application deployment role. There are many roles present in SCCM. Depends on the expertise of the people, we can grant permission. Uh, remote management, we can remote into users' uh, laptops or desktop through SCCM. Yeah, reporting, you get n number of formats like Excel, CSV, PDF, Word you can get reports in those format monitoring you can monitor your SCCM site server and uh, components using SCCM itself so these are some of the features and functionalities of SCCM there are many more but these are a few features and functionalities which I have mentioned in this slide um, now when we go in the training guys so from tomorrow onwards right we will we will need to um, do everything uh, practically i believe in uh, practical knowledge because i don't just wanna you know run the ppt slide and then um, then uh, i'll ask you to just read the article and all i believe in practical knowledge so you all need to have a SCCM lab you need to create your lab yourself I will guide you a step by step how to go about it so either you can create your lab in local like on your laptop or desktop so for local lab setup you need to have 12 gigabyte of RAM quad core processor and 300 GB of hard disk space that's the uh, local lab requirement if you are going to set it up on your laptop or desktop but in case if you don't have this configuration you can go on cloud okay any cloud like azure or aws or google cloud or any private cloud but i would suggest azure because azure is also moving like a monster now and uh, you can get azure exposure as well in this training session so azure gives you 30 days free trial so you can take 30 days free trial okay without um, you know investing any money you don't have to make any payment it's free and in 30 days free trial you can create your uh, machines in Azure 
data center like in india or canada or australia somewhere and you can remotely connect to those machines you know those machines which are in azure cloud data center so within one month you will be able to uh, finish all the topics uh, and you will get practical knowledge okay so it depends on you either you go on this one the local one or you go on this one the cloud one okay now the lab architecture will be like this we will have four different machines one is our domain controller the second one is our SCM server the primary site server the third one is our database server and the fourth one is going to be a client machine like windows 10 or windows 7 all will be on the same lan network so that they can talk to each other okay so this is going to be our primary site server and from here we will be managing all the machines whatever the machines we have any question from anyone Uh, yeah, Vijay here. For mm -hmm. one primary site, uh, what will be the maximum secondary sites we can create? One prime. Okay, wait, wait. Discard. Okay. One primary site can have maximum twenty uh, five sorry 250 secondary site secondary site okay one cas can have maximum 25 child primary site okay okay, okay. and one primary site can have maximum 175000 clients mm -hmm. okay one cas can have these things i'll discuss later on Okay. Uh, 800 825000 clients okay okay one secondary site can have maximum 15000 clients okay we'll talk about these things later on any other question from anyone uh, hi question uh, this is mukesh so yeah, mukesh. do you have any uh, connections for uh, accm market in usa like do you know any consultancies or they can uh, they can For help, help opportunities. me yeah. uh, i know some of some people uh, but it is better you apply uh, in uh, in in dice i think dice is there in us uh, which will uh, you know the people will call you from there itself you know you upload your resume there and the consultant itself they will call you from there and they you know they are looking for SSM administrator in us it's it's good market you know people are earning somewhere around uh, uh, 45 us dollar to 80 dollar you know that is yeah. the average uh, 45 to 80 but you have to start uh, learning properly and uh, as in the training session whatever the assignment and practical i would be giving you have to complete those and then you should be able to you know get more confidence and uh, start applying for jobs okay any other question from anyone uh ashif is intune no. replacing the same no 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 that's a misconception. Uh, Intune is not going to replace SCM. Intune is basically to manage mobile devices. Okay? okay. You can manage mobile devices plus Windows 10 as well. Okay. But it is not okay. a replacing. However, Intune is integrated in SCM. I mean, uh, previously. But what Microsoft did, it, they made these things separate. Okay. Previously, okay. we used to integrate Intune in SSM, okay. but now, but now Microsoft is doing what? They are keeping them separate. Okay. okay so, like managing mobile devices and Windows 10. 
yeah manage mobile devices and windows 10 from intune and okay. uh, all the enterprise devices which are present in the company uh, manage through sccm so <clears throat> you will have to manage servers right you can't manage uh, servers through intune that's not possible so uh, sccm is deployed uh, globally right it is deployed almost everywhere so you you have to manage you have to utilize that that tool to manage your uh, the computers which are all connected on the lan network right and those machines which you would like to manage through intune you can manage those machines like windows 10 and android and iphone ios mac devices through intune okay 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 so, thanks yeah, this is just like an extension uh, of uh, sccm but it is not going to replace okay 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 yeah any other question guys anyone Vijay, any question? Bala, Deepika. Petras. So yeah, so question for like, uh, so what is the plan for this training? Like how many days it, it goes? And uh, so I just joined 10 minutes late. So. Okay, we already discussed about it. Um, this training is uh, for one month, the weekday session. I'm talking about the weekdays one, this one. One month session, wherein uh, Monday to Friday, uh, we will do from 6.30 India time. Okay. Uh, for one and, for maximum one and a half hour session. So within one month, we will be able to finish it off. Okay. For weekend session, if anyone is interested in weekend session, then it is uh, Saturday, Sunday only, but three hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday. I mean, Saturday, Sunday, three hours on Saturday, three hours on Sunday. But that will take six weekends, uh, one and a half months to finish all the topics. Okay. So, yeah. But we are discussing about weekdays uh, currently. Okay. This one. So from tomorrow onwards, we will start at 6.30 a.m. India time, which is 1 a.m. UK time, okay? Any more questions from anyone? Sorry. Uh, uh, what will be timings on weekends? Weekend, I have not decided, uh, but it will be morning around uh, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, India time, but I have not decided yet. Okay, when the batch will start, uh, Kaj, any idea? Probably from this weekend. But I, I, I need to, uh, I need to confirm on this. Okay. Okay. So from tomorrow, guys, the batch will start at 6:30 a.m. India time. If you guys are interested to join this batch, you need to enroll for this course. Okay. And. Uh, once you enroll, then uh, you can join from tomorrow onwards, guys. 6.30 a.m. India time. Okay. Okay. For okay. enrollment, you need to um, contact on, you know, uh, if you have received this meeting link on WhatsApp or email, you can reply to the WhatsApp message or email or phone from where you receive this and then i'll guide you in the enrollment process okay 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 guys um thank you for joining the session i hope the session was informative and we'll see you soon thank you bye guys bye everyone thank you thank you, thank you.